What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Ryan Garcia. As you guys can see from this photograph, this image of Ryan Garcia with a blunt in his mouth, and it posts, We Lit ASF. So if you guys don't know what ASF means, that is, of course, as F-U-C-K. <laughs> and let me counterpunch. Um, I seen the press conference today. Um, a lot of that stuff was cringeworthy, honestly. Um, Devin Haney made a good point on him being a role model him having that many Instagram followers and this is what he shows and he posts on his Instagram, you know, and I think he is setting a bad example for the youth because if everyone sees, Hey, well, Ryan does it. Why can't I? Okay. That's what it's pushing. Okay. That's all it shows. It proves that, Hey, well, you know, Ryan Garcia, he's a superstar, he's a millionaire, he's young, he's flashy, he smokes weed and he drinks, and that's cool because that's what he's saying. That's what he's conveying, that, hey, this is cool, this is okay. And in the press conference, I know what he was trying to do, like, hey, you know, praise God, you know, give honor to Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. And then I'm like, okay, and then, of course... It wasn't the fact that he went out there and said, I drink and smoke, and it's okay. He didn't say that, okay? Not in the press conference. What he was doing, he was defending himself from what Devin told him. Devin was like, hey, why don't you put the coat down because your voice sounds hoarse. And it does sound, I, I did wonder, okay, what's going on with his voice? However, um, him saying, hey, I drink and smoke just like most people in this room. God's not done with me yet. You know, um, I think that was more of a, a defensive response, okay, than an actual response needed for him to glorify that. I think he should have, hey, I don't condone this. I wouldn't recommend this to people. This is just something that I do, and this is a phase that I'm going through. God is not done with me yet. You know, I'm not proud of this. That's what he should have said, but he didn't. Okay, he was just like, well, everybody does it. Well, you know, I, I think that was a poor way of explaining yourself. You know, him trying to justify, uh, hey, yeah, I smoke, I drink, so what? For one, you have to pass a drug test. You have to pass a drug test. Wait, so, hey, I drink, I smoke weed and I drink. I'm like, okay, well, last I heard, marijuana was illegal in any athletic commission, unless they change the rules, they might have, but then they might not have. Okay. So what he said in the press conference wasn't necessarily all his fault because he didn't bring up uh, drinking and smoking. Devin Haney did. Okay. To be fair. However, this particular video or this image rather is him saying, Hey, we lit as F. Well, that's, glorifying you 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 you're promoting an idea and that idea is hey it's okay to smoke weed cuz i'm showing it here and this is what i do he shouldn't have done that that's very poor in character because the Ryan Garcia i knew a few years ago didn't do any of that he didn't have all these ugly ass tattoos he didn't say f you and f this and f that and f this uh like he does now you know what i mean and then you say oh hey I want, first of all, I want to give uh, thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's making Christians overall look bad, okay? So you, you, you have a direct contradiction in what he does. And it makes it look bad because, like, you see Devin Haney, he don't drink nor smoke, and he's Muslim. So really, that's making a denomination look bad or religion look bad overall, and you are the poster child that's supposed to be representing a certain religion, a certain age group, a certain society, and you're doing this shit, this here.
This is what we're having. This is what we see Ryan do. And you got to ask yourself now, will he be able to pass the drug test? Because he has to pass the drug test in order to fight. You know, and, and it just makes you know, like, hey, well, I smoke weed. You know, if he tests positive for marijuana and this fight doesn't happen, you can't say that that wasn't premeditated, bro. You know, he's just letting people, yeah, I drink and I smoke. That may be your way of getting out of this fight because you say, well, everyone already knew that I drank and I smoked. Well, you can't smoke and train and pass drug tests and fight doing what you do. So it may be a way to get out of this fight. I hope it's not. But, you know, just throwing it out there, okay? If the shoe fits, Ryan Garcia doing this on social media shows that he's a poor example of a role model. And he knows that he's responsible for the millions of people that watch him, that watches his posts and all this. You know, it would be different and if like he was smoking for some kind of uh, medical purposes, but it's not. He's just smoking because he's, oh, we want to get lit. Is F. Wow, look at me. You know, so I don't, I don't really like that. Um, he talks about mental health issues and things like that. Well, that does not help your mental issues. Ask Tyson Fury. Anybody that has any type of health, mental health issue, the last thing you want to do is drink and smoke. <laughs> you know, you can't make it up, you know? So it's, a, again, it's a paradox. It's a total contradiction on what he's doing. You know, and I hope he slows down because, believe it or not, he's acting a lot like Oscar De La Hoya, the AKA uh, sperm donor <laughs> of Ryan Garcia. He's acting a lot like Oscar. So, you know, if you've seen the Golden Boy documentary, you know, he shows his, his regret and his problems with alcohol and drug abuse throughout the whole thing. It, it, it really ruined his life. And, you know, I employ Ryan Garcia not to go down that road. But it's a poor role model. It's a poor excuse. I hope he does clean up his act. I hope he can pass the drug test. You guys tell me what you think about Ryan Garcia getting lit. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching.